Hello friends, today in our tutorial we need to talk about some important things, about few of them that is very uh, essential. Learners of English language need to be put through. We are looking at possessive pronouns, possessive adjectives. Possessive pronouns, possessive adjectives. I notice that students often get confused most at times in my English class, when I, you know, ask questions that are centered on examples of possessive adjectives, possessive pronouns, what are they, you keep seeing lots of complications as children, you know, try to answer such questions. I, at the end of the day, I notice they don't understand when we say possessive adjectives, possessive pronouns as it concerns the difference between the two. What are possessive pronouns? What are possessive adjectives? First, let's understand that pronouns are words that serve as replacements. They are substitutes to the nouns. When we mention nouns, of course, nouns are names, names of whatever, whatsoever it is you can imagine Hence, it is a name. That's when we say noun. But in pronoun, words that replace such names are what we call pronouns. In sentences, during expressions, there are times we may choose not to mention particular names we are you know, referring to without, we now make use of the pronouns. The pronouns are there to avoid what I may call vain repetition of their antecedents, okay? They are there to avoid a kind of, that is, overcoming monotony of words. Yes. So, but in today's tutorial, we are looking at adjectives and pronouns, the possessive types. There are examples of the adjectives we call possessive adjectives. There are those of them we equally call possessive pronouns. So when we say possessive, we are talking about possession, right? Some pronouns that indicate possession. Adjectives that equally indicate possessions. But the question is, what's the difference between the possessive pronouns, possessive adjectives? How do we you know, differentiate between the two? That's what we are looking at this morning. Okay, you see what we already have. We've been able to establish some words. Number one, we have my. Mine. Look at this. My. My man. My book. Right? My pen. My house. This is my studio. This, my, my book, my brother, my sister. What about this? The pen is mine. Look at it. This pen, it's mine. Okay, in, in sentences, we could say, um, he is my friend. My friend. Let's look at the my here. My friend. Okay? He is my friend. All right? What do we call this? Where does it belong? Very important. Most times, students will tell you this is a pronoun. No. That would be very wrong. Okay? This can't be a pronoun, but an adjective. We have friend here already. And what is friend referring to? It's a name. This is a common noun. Name, we call humans friend. Somebody can be your friend, of course. So because this is re uh, referring to somebody, that's a name. And this is the noun in the expression. So but this is a kind of um, word that is um, talking about friend. What is the function of this? Remember, adjectives are words that qualify or describe. 
Now, if I say he is friend, of course it is a good expression. He is friend. What friend? What kind of friend? My friend. You now describe the friend he is. My friend. So this is describing the friend. Not pronoun, but what? Possessive adjective. Now, how do we write it in the form of a pronoun? That's when we talk about mine. All right? Yes. Somebody could say, um, the book is mine. Now, look at this. The book is mine. This is a pronoun. Possessive pronoun. My friend, because the my here is describing the friend. Adjective, describing the noun. But this is pronoun outrightly. If you look at it, it is standing alone, indicating possession. That's why it is a pronoun. Remember, pronouns are words that serve as substitutes to the nouns. So, pronoun. Take note. We have your, yours. All right? Look at this. Your, yours. Now, when I say your son, your son went to school. Your son went to school. What is this? The you are here is, of course, an adjective describing the son, which is a noun. We are talking about your son. If we merge or blend the two, we have what we call noun phrase. But when we, you know, single them out to stand independently, to talk about their various function, your is an adjective describing the son possessive, possessive adjective. Are you there? Very good. Now, your son went to school. Okay? This is an adjective. How do we use it as a pronoun? The son is yours. Now look at it. The son is yours. Talking about your son. So somebody seeing the son, probably he's now coming back from school. Wow. I can see the son is yours. That's why you are coming back with him. Okay? Yours. Pronoun. Take note. Yours. Pronoun. The same thing happens here. His. His. Two words. The same. The same spellings. Possibly the same pronunciation. But depending on the structural arrangement in a sentence, that is when it's you know, serve either as an adjective or a pronoun. So, his, his man is around. Okay? His man is around. Now, we are talking about man here, which is the head word. Okay? But this is describing the man, the particular man that is around. Remember, man is around. Which man? Somebody listening to this could be confused. I need to understand the man that is around. Which man, of course? His man. Look at it. His man is around. So this his is describing the man that is around. So what function? Adjective, describing the noun, okay? All right. The money is his. Now look at this. Who has this money? If suddenly I picked up a money, or maybe some money, whatever, sorry, picking up some money. If I pick up some money belonging to somebody, 
and someone is around that knows the person that owns the money. The money is his. Okay? That's when we use this. The money is his. So for this, it is what? Possessive pronoun. Not an adjective here. Possessive adjective, not a pronoun here. Take note. The same thing happens here. Her, hers. All right? Okay. Um, her friend, her friend will soon come. Will soon come. Now look at this. Her friend, her friend, adjective describing the friend. Okay? This is possessive adjective describing the friend. Okay? Um, how do we use it as a pronoun? Hers. Look at this. Hers. Okay? Those shoes, those shoes are hers. Those shoes are hers. The shoes, of course, are belonging to a lady somewhere. Okay? Yeah. Those shoes are hers. Take note. For the hers, possessive pronoun. Okay? Her here, possessive adjective. Finally, we have their. Okay? Their people are coming. Their people are coming. Look at this. Their people. All right? The emphasis here is that people are coming. Which people, of course? Which people are coming? Their people. Now, when we say their people, their here is an adjective. Okay? Describing the people. But when we say those those things are theirs. Now look at this. Those things are theirs. Those things are theirs. Now, what do we mean? This um, theirs, finally here, is an adjective. Possessive adjective. So we need to take note of these words. When we say possessive pronoun, what do they mean? How do they appear? How are they used in sentences? The same thing with possessive adjectives. We need to understand the difference between the two. When we say possession, actually, of course, we are talking about ownership, whether adjective, whether pronoun, ownership. But we need to learn how do they look? When do we use or make use of them in expression, or when we see them existing in expressions like I have listed uh, thus, we need to understand which is which. Very important. If you've enjoyed what you've watched, um, please do well to follow us on Facebook and subscribe to my YouTube channel on Ezayola Online English. Thank you very much.